Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. We do not put any pricing on YouTube, so if you have any pricing inquiries, please jump over to our website. And we'll put a direct link to this particular truck camper in the description below. Are you tired of seeing these prices on these brand new camper vans at over $120,000? And still uh, around the forty dollars to $50,000 mark for a good used one? Well, for under $15,000, you can buy this thing, drop it in your truck, and have essentially the same thing. All right, folks, we're going to step inside this Travelite truck camper. Uh, first thing you'll notice probably here is the floor. Nice looking wood looking vinyl floor. As with all the Travelite stuff, they use these counters and tables that they call uh, granite coat. It is a formed fiberglass molded countertop. The backsplash is actually formed and molded with the countertop when they're doing it or making it, so there is no gap or crack there for any of your liquids, crumbs, anything like that to get stuck down into uh, that you have to use a knife or something to scrape out of there. Also, this is a one piece. There's no edge banding on this like your cheaper uh, MDF uh, press board plywood type counters and, and tables that the, the edge banding they have to put on there to hide the seam, uh, the edge of the board will oftentimes peel off over the years. Travelite uses all stainless appliances. You got a two burner cooktop, single basin kitchen sink, stainless range hood with fan and light, stainless microwave. Next to the microwave, we've got a pretty good sized little storage cubby here. Right beside the door when you walk in on the driver's side of the unit, we've got a wardrobe closet. Got your shore power cord, your bargeman cord. Your bargeman cord connects this to your truck when you have it in your truck, so it keeps your coach battery topped off by charging it through that cord. Cranks for your uh, leveling ja your jacks. There is also an adapter for a 12 volt uh, mini impact that you can run those up and down with a mini impact versus doing it by hand which is cumbersome time consuming and is a sweaty job much much easier with a mini 12 volt impact or you can upgrade to the power jacks uh, one of the popular things about this floor plan uh, is it can still fit in a half ton truck it's one of the few half tons uh, truck campers that has a full-size dedicated shower in it this one does not have any kind of a toilet uh, best route to go for a toilet is to either get one of the dry porter potties or just use the facilities at the campground you're staying at. Sorry, I'm going to jump back down. Uh, head unit for the indoor and outdoor stereo system. These all come standard with a freeway refrigerator that will run on 12 volt electricity, 110 volt electricity, or propane gas. Got some storage cubbies upside on either side. Nice big bed up in the cab over section. We have a, a couch on either side that those can go down. You would use the table and sit on this ledge here. And then you can make this into another bed. So this one would be capable of sleeping three to maybe four. You can sleep two in the upper bed and uh, one adult down here or two kids down here in this bed. The front window does open if you've got a slider in your truck. Uh, if for any reason you wanted to pass anything through, you can open up both sliders, pass it onto the truck camper. Granite coat table, you can see the underside of it there. It's actually laying upside down. Uh, does not have the hole in the floor. It comes with more of a pedestal base that just sits on the floor. Their thinking for doing that is that you can then remove the table and take it outside if you would prefer to sit outside with that table. Uh, windows on either side of the bed. They both open that you can get a nice cross breeze. If uh, you got a cool evening or anything like that. TV outlets. You've got cable connection 12 volt. If you want to put a 12 volt TV in as well as 110. You mount the TV on the end of the cabinet there. That is an option that we can install if you would like us to do so. But not a standard option. 
couple drawers down here. Propane furnace. Small storage under the sink. Uh, one of the nice things that they do in these travel lights, that front window lines up with this back window. Uh, you can actually see through both windows in your rear view mirror and see out behind you. If you have any questions on this one, again, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, 419-899-2020. All right, folks, I'm going to give you the rundown on the outside of this Travel Light truck camper as part of their truck camper series. This is the 770 floor plan. And the way that Travel Light does their floor plans in their truck camper series is that this 770 means that it's seven feet and seven inches from there to there. Uh, this will still fit in a six and a half foot short bed, but you will not be able to put the tailgate up. You will have to leave the tailgate down. This one has the manual jacks on it. It is pre-wired. For the power jacks so that they can easily be added if you would like to do so up top here we have the vent for the refrigerator this is the fill for the onboard water tank our city water connection vent and access to your hot water heater storage for your coach battery you'll notice these little plugs here on all four corners those are the pre-wire for the power jacks if you would like to add those. Our sewer dump there. Got some exterior outlets. We do have some outside speakers on the rear corners. Regular propane tank that you would use on your uh, grill. So you can easily exchange this anywhere that they fill propane. Or exchange tanks. Outside shower, vent for your propane furnace, cable TV connection. If the campground you're staying in has cable TV, you can hook up there. We're gonna hook our shore power cord in here. If you have any questions on this travel light, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Ooh.